Well, something that's going on in Mexico right now is that the um, there was a problem with corruption with many areas. Uh, one of them was the police, the federal police, and of course there's a lot of other areas that have corruption, but um, they weren't protecting the people. And a lot of them actually uh, were actually the ones doing the kidnapping. Uh, and um, so the, the public was not being protected. So AMLO, Andres Manuel Lopez, Lopez Obrador, who is the current president, um, redirected, got a new law passed and redirected the military forces, the Navy, um, national, uh, converted them to a National Guard, which now protects the people and businesses. And also they're using them for the immigration, um, uh, cur you know, the problem that's happening at the borders regarding the tariffs. I don't know if you've been following it, but apparently Trump threatened um, uh, to uh, add tariffs to all products from Mexico a while back and then they um, were uh, so uh, President AMLO had already planned but you know let them in on the plan to uh, to remove the the uh, tariffs I'm sorry to to help the people in Central America that were migrating through Mexico by helping them to reestablish work in their place of origin. Uh, so he's helping them to um, like create jobs over there, fixing the social problems in their country of origin uh, so that they'll stop having to leave because you, you can't just... Um, someone who's in exile or who's looking for uh, refuge, so these were refugees, they didn't want to stay in Mexico, they wanted to come to the U.S. And the U.S. was saying, well, you know, um, if you're going to um, go through Mexico, then you have to basically stay there or something like that. But they didn't want to, even though Mexico offered them jobs and safety, care, uh, medical care, everything to protect them, um, they still wanted to continue uh, going towards uh, the U.S. And um, some of them decided to stay, but a big portion of them decided to keep moving. Uh, and so then uh, Trump was using that against Mexico. Um, and he was, AMLO was trying to explain to him that uh, we, um, they had already had made plans on how they were going to handle it but um, I guess eventually they talked about it and they agreed and so he uh, had already uh, by that time they had already put uh, a new law on the books that allowed the military police now to be used as like a civil police so they could help them protect the people and they're going to have to try and do away with the drug trafficking and all that stuff. And then also there was a lot of um, corrupt police that were, you know, demanding bribes all the time. And, and also there was, um, you know, kidnappings. Every, there's deaths every day, murders every day. So the, they're you know, in a state of, uh, well, it's a horrible situation in Mexico. And so they needed to... Uh, use those troops in order to protect the people. So that's what they did was redirect the troops inward since they really, they haven't been doing anything military wise, you know, in terms of protecting the country. Um, but I mean, they're still there if they need to be, but in the meantime, they're being redirected to uh, help the people. And so they've also had to get training on how to deal with people uh, in the least, um, like using the least amount of force and also uh, not violating any human, any human rights. So there's a lot that went into putting these people in this new position.
position. Position. Anyway, so the police, um, the federal police, uh, that were working under the previous um, uh, administrations uh, were allowed to rampantly, uh, and it was even encouraged, you know, to to do all these corrupt actions. Um, and you know, they they were involved in a lot of the massacres and things like that. So uh, the president, you know, didn't want to just have them go from that post into the National Guard, which was made now to protect the people against corruption and, and injury. So they're manifesting because they're afraid that they're going to lose their jobs or their benefits. And also the military was paying like $12 an hour, whereas the police were getting $15, I'm sorry, pesos an hour. And so, um, and then somebody went and told them all, oh, he's taking everything away, you're going to lose your jobs, this and that. And, um, they were misinformed, so they they were all out uh, rallying and um, rebelling and acting crazy. But anyway, so this video is about that, about uh, you know what's going on with the police, who was behind it, um, and you know now this guy he's very um, he he's in Chicago. Well, right now they're in Mexico, but uh, he has a, a business, um, internet business in uh, Chicago called Sin Censura, which is like uncensored. And so he has, like he says a lot of bad words and stuff, you know, he uses a lot of foul language, but it's expected. And he says this show is not for kids, you know, because he does so much cussing. <laughs> but it's actually kind of funny uh, because... He uses the colloquial, uh, uh, you know, language, and seems like sometimes he tries to hold back, but then he just lets it out, you know, and it's it's really uh, entertaining. But um, I'm sure he uh, speaks uh, some English, but they never translate these um, uh, to English. So I'm gonna go ahead and translate them, and I hope they don't get mad at me because. I really want to share the stuff that they put on and there's a couple of other people that I'm uh, translating uh, for those of you that are curious as to what's really happening in Mexico uh, and uh, these guys uh, they're not paid by any corporations and and they're not working for you know the president they're not working for for anybody they're they're just free uh, press you know they they, they have their own a YouTube show and they um, they do things their own way and on a couple of occasions they've called the president on things that they thought were not right so they they don't hold back and they're really interesting to watch and I, I do watch these shows you know to to see well shows I, I can I call it like new it's kind of like news well for one thing the regular news uh, isn't putting uh, the truth out there and a lot of what they do is to try and destroy the the new president because they're associated and are being paid by the previous uh, administrations um, and parties like the PRI and the PAN and so they own the uh, newspaper companies and they own the, own the uh, television companies and so basically uh, they do not uh, give the president any coverage unless it's negative and so these guys basically just tell it like it is so in this case they're out there um, on the on the streets you know and dealing with the uh, rebellious police and I haven't watched this so I'm just gonna translate and stop it when I need to in order to explain things uh, and sometimes they talk a little bit fast so um, uh, these guys talk a little bit fast and they're very funny, but I'll try not to use the foul language if possible But um, sometimes you got to because it's so um, uh, Well the way it works you <laughs> let me I want to move my picture down because I don't want to block their words Okay, so I'm going to move my picture. Hold on move This down a little bit oh, messing up my whole thing here. See I've got this set up a certain way all right, I'm going to move my picture down here. 
Oi, still not low enough. Okay, excuse me a second. Trying to fix this. I think it needs to go a little lower. Okay. Because I don't want to block any of their words. Um, I, I think that's important to have what they say on there. Okay, um, so anyway, it says AMLO, Movimiento de Policía Federal, no es la causa justa. Rebelión es muestra de que uh, se echó a perder. So they're saying that the rebellion is doesn't have a just cause and that the the, the federal police um, don't have a just cause for being out there and that the rebellion is an, an example of how uh, spoiled or rotten they were. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let them start and then I'll translate. Y amigo, adelante, Rafita también. ¿Por qué no vemos y escuchamos? ¿Por qué no vemos y escuchamos este tema? So why don't we listen and watch this matter regarding the federal police and how the president dealt with this or question in the in the morning uh, uh, con press conference, and then we'll come back to this. So regarding everything that was said, there's some things that are not forgivable. And he says, I don't know how Felipe Calderón, who's one of the previous presidents, how he dares even deal, talk to this. So, some police are, are demanding not to take the polygraph tests and so forth. Para saber cuál fue el reporte que le dieron hoy en esta reunión de gabinete de seguridad sobre el tema de la Guardia Nacional. De hecho, nos están ahorita viendo fotografías que siguen las barricadas fuera de el centro de They're asking about the police and their barricade and their protests and their messages and messages regarding this protest. Saber cuál Ayer usted subió un video. Yesterday you put up a video. Saber si esto se continúa. Is this continuing? And yesterday you said there was some kind of black hand involved or dark power. So who are you saying who's the black hand? Are you saying who's the black hand? I reaffirm my my position as of yesterday. And I thought it was very clear. I'm just saying there, there is no foundation, there's no reason for that. There's no just cause for the uh, complaint. We're not firing anybody. We're not taking away salaries. We're not taking away their benefits. Everything continues the same one, the same situation that um, was before. And to go into the uh, National Guard is going to be voluntary. It's established in the law that within 18 months, the, the police would disappear within that amount of time. And that, that even with that, legal mandate. We made the decision that they would not be firing anybody. They would all continue to have their jobs. All will still continue to have their work, their jobs. We are doing the readjustment. Um, I was saying yesterday that the, that the government contracts hundred, about 50,000 people by, with private companies that these cor cor uh, they encouraged the production or creation of these corporations that they have an extreme they were contracting more private police or security than the actual police that protected the people 
so they weren't giving uh, public security for the citizens. So therefore, all these things are are being um, made regulated and we're going we're gonna create this um, in the interest of public security a new system to supply to the agencies uh, these private agencies that used to give security services and these people from the federal police if they would like to because everything is voluntary they can apply to this new function or job that would be some new opportunities but but nobody will be fired or removed. Nobody's losing their jobs. There's no loss of wages for anybody. And I'm talking about this black hand, is I'm talking about that yesterday people were directing the movement. They don't even work. Well, they don't work for the federal police anyway. The principal directors of this they belong to other organizations. Uh, at 11 o'clock, we'll be informing you by this uh, security uh, council. And this is an order, they, order that the people will know. All Mexicans should be informed that there not be any manipulation because Yesterday, what happened, when they got the news, then they did have a national chain, then they did use the news, making point that they never put him on the news. Um, this is a really important matter. So that's why I went out to give my version. And that's and that's why I say that the, the World Wide Web is holy, because the conventional media were running for this news. They were saying it was this great conflict in this country. Like never before, it was this horrible thing. They went on the national news on this. Fortunately, well, now we do have a way of informing people using the, uh, the web, which is what I'm doing now. I'm clarifying it. And I'm clarifying it again, reiterating that there are no motives. Furthermore, also, there's no bad thing that doesn't come for, through for something good to come forward. We always used to say that this corporation was ruined. And what happened yesterday gives you abundant evidence that it's true. That's exactly. He says precisely there, let's pause it, to the declarations of the president. He said, these protests that's taken by the police, it's evidence that the federal police was damaged or rotten. These are uh, shows of corruption. These come from uh, uh, Calderón, García Luna, and Peña Nieto. En Obrador, a Felipe Calderón, Felipe Calderón a tweet ayer. Uh, went, uh, Dice, put a tweet on. Si a if a federal police was ruined, then why do you want them in the National Guard? The police should be given back their rights and their solidarity and all their whatever they had coming before. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt, Calderón. 
Felipe Calderón. Let's try to analyze his, the reactions of this president, Calderón. Entonces, ¿para qué la quieres dentro de la Guardia Nacional? So why do you want him in the National Guard? The president has been very clear that the greatest majority are responsible. But there are some corruption. So let's just get rid of these rotten apples so that so they won't be having some more of the same in the National Guard. Another thing is if Felipe Calderón is defending them in this way and Margarita Zavala also made uh, a, wrote a message as well. This analyst said solidarity with the police don't be treating them bad these police officers she was retweeting regarding the public tweet from Carlos Loret de Mora that said that yesterday there was a protest and that it was peaceful and by the federal police that they wanted, they were asking them to quit so they can put the National Guard in place. And she's the ex, uh, the wife of the ex-president. She, she's totally, she thinks they've been treated bad. And she's especially showing her solidarity with the police. So that's what they're saying. So if, if you believe them so well and you think they're so good in the family Calderón Zavala regard, regarding these elements that they don't want to have um, they don't want to have polygraphs. They don't want to take tests or anything. Why don't we do a little shift? Let's, let's switch. Let's take away the, the military guard that the president put on there to protect them that they requested. He confirmed that he had requested them in a letter. And then he asked, he said he was feared for his life and his family and that he needed safety and security. So the president did give him some guards from the National Guard. So they said, why don't we just do this? Why don't we switch some of those old police that don't want to be tested and give them to you and take back some of the military police? Let's say about a thousand, of, I mean, a dozen of those guys. And let's send them over there to take care of you. Do you think they'll do it? Do you think they would dare do that? Take some of those guys that don't want to be evaluated? It's just an hypocrisy. We know communicators, these guys are, they're talking about solidarity, but you know, it's not true. Don't they understand that, that there's a delinquency in the country and that these uh, that this that they left us after they governed, these, these police that did not function. So how, how are they defending them now when they know there's corruption in the police and, and the police are even kidnapping? If you ask the people, they are afraid when they see a policeman because they don't know if they're going to kidnap them to steal from them. Also, the question is, if you're so sure of it, I do believe that the great majority are probably good. We can't generalize. Maybe the, maybe the great number of them are actually good. They might be honest people that work for love of Mexico. And obviously, we want their 
your labor rights and all that to be protected. However, what I am reading as an example, they're the ones that are making noise in the public red web. If they're so uh, in such solidarity with those police, they don't want a polygraph or lie detector. They don't want an evaluation. If they just go directly to the National Guard, if you're so sure, I insist, send another letter to the president, since he likes to write letters, and say, sir, I'll take, take away those military men that you sent me and send me instead a dozen of those ones that are going to lose their jobs because they don't want to have, um, let's say they don't want to be, have the tests or anything. Well, he says, but the president said they are not losing their benefits their jobs or anything. They just want to be investigated so that they can become part of the National Guard. Any federal guard can, that wants to apply, they can do it. In the past, when Felipe Calderón was running the thing, if a military person wanted to be, say, for example, a chief, chief of police in a different state, he would have to go to the city of Mexico, and he would have to, and they would do some questions and exams, psychological, interviews, testimonials, he would have to do polygraph. Anytime they wanted to go for a higher position, so they would ask them, even ex-military that wanted to get a job in the police, and they would ask them, have you ever tortured, have you done this and that, have you been involved in organized crime? En todo caso, sí quieren ser eh, policías so, federales dentro de be la Guardia Nacional, pero federal tienen un police. pasado difícil. No they, podemos tener un pasado como a, mexicanos. Alguien que tenga un pasado bad. difícil. Y no se les está corriendo. Esto es lo más claro. Es una, 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 una protesta que no puedes ir a la Guardia Nacional si tienes un pasado. Pues evidentemente sí, no tiene una causa justa, como dice López Obrador. So López Obrador says they don't have a just reason or cause. Eh, porque les quitaran prestaciones los están eh, simplemente investigando they're just the investigating their past so that they can see if they qualify to go to the National Guard tan así será el pliego petitorio de lo que estamos mencionando que después quiso rectificar Felipe so afterwards uh, Calderón wrote something different el exceso en las demandas the de excess in the demands of the police legitimidad y credibilidad a su movimiento E ir en detrimento de las demandas legítimas. Might be in detriment of legitimate causes. They need to try to do this in a pacific and thoughtful way. So we need to say. Some alternative media said, and I want to talk about that key points about this petition. Some people, hundreds or thousands, are protesting and they're asking for a, like a, a En la Policía Federal puedo estar equivocado. They're saying they want like to make it a national thing. So here's the points, the principal points of the petition. No va a apoyar el pueblo de México. That Mexico, el de the México people are not going to back them up. Yo tuve mis dudas en un principio por esto de los militares y los marinos. Pero viendo cómo están las cosas en México. But seeing how things are in Mexico. Inténtale. Attempted that the people 
The people is not, are not dumb. The people are conscious, conscious of what's happening. And the question is for the people that are questioning us. If you, would you would trust a National Guard that would open the door to federal police that want to automatically go in without an evaluation? Would you trust them? That if they didn't have to do the polygraph, would that be okay with you? They've already seen that before, and it's bad. And these type of things, all I can say is, I, I am in agreement with is with Felipe Calderón is that there was excesses that it was not the correct way to do it if there was abuse they would handle it or rectify it but the thing about the labor but you can't just do what you want it's not healthy for the country and it would it would ruin this thing that we was we were thinking was going to make things better for mexico unfortunately the federal police was prostituting itself when they came to the government secretary because they didn't operate they were not all police but the high officials they would do quotas and let's see how you do it but you have to give me money for this or that so it was like a prostitution of this police because there was a lot of corruption above them. So also I want to make this comment for the honorable officials, the agents of the police. Please understand. Understand the people of Mexico. Understand the critics. How can we trust a corporation that has been so stained with accusations because like Gerardo García Luna was, was accused for declarations that, that he was getting uh, money from nar uh, from narcotic traffickers and there was witnesses that said that he had and so the people are asking them, and the, the media that are criticizing them, because if they have something, so he says, you can't just say change uniforms and start over again in business as usual. No, it has to be put in an to an end. So the, he says, I have the opportunity to know a lot of police. And I also studied to be police. And he knows two federal police. He knows very well. The the federal police is like they had some tactical judicial situations going on. If they try to take that public service, you know, the protect and serve towards the Mexican people, evidently, they would be uh, wanting judicial proof for their group so they can be sure that they will be acting in the best way so they will also be protected. We would like to know the voices of what I would like to ask them questions to ask them the ones that are not in agreement. What is the reason? Talk to us. 
Yo voy a intentar, vamos, I would like to talk to them. Obviously, I want to protect the clients. Voy a intentar localizar a I would try to locate the policemen that I know and to ask them qué es lo que está pensando what is it that they're thinking, what is it they're afraid of. El verdadero policía federal o la policía federal, porque estamos hablando de hombres y mujeres que verdaderamente sí están buscando esta carrera that might be looking for this career. Precisamente, Toño. Precisely, Toño. Okay, so it ended. But in any case, um, now see this guy coming up, uh, Ricardo Casanelli? He is also impressive. Uh, but I'm going to stop there because um, I'm gonna, I want to do uh, one of his as well, but not right now. But anyway, so that was uh, Sin Censura, and I'm sure they had another one that followed because it kind of stops abruptly because they only do it for so long and then they go to the next one. But I just wanted to let you know um, what's going on in Mexico with the police. And if you have any more questions, I'm sure you can go online. And um, there's a lot of channels that are covering that right now. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Um, I really need more subscribers. So... Um, hit the little bell so that you'll know whenever something new comes on and um, let me know if there's something you would change or don't like or anything that you think uh, would be good. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.